I've been a boat captain for over 15 years, but what a lot of people don't realize is that I have a history in healthcare. I was an emergency room nurse for quite a long period of time, and what I learned quickly working there is things go bad, and they go bad in a hurry. And when you're offshore, um, and when you're inshore, when you're on a boat, you want to make sure you have the basic first aid kit. And I have several different kits that I have put together, and I kind of want to show you guys what I do, what I have on the boat in case things go bad. What every boat should have is a basic first aid kit. CUDA has one that um, I have from them, and it's, it's really just, again, a basic kit. What this has in it, which is really nice, it has some basic meds, motion sickness medicine, bandages, some cold compresses. But again, this is just a very basic kit that every boat should have, good idea. I like to take it to the next level though. Let's say we're offshore, um, we do a lot of trips to the Bahamas where first aid isn't, isn't readily available. Even to get to the hospital is not always readily available. You can be miles, miles away from, from aid. So um, with a history in healthcare, I tend to pack a little bit more than obviously most people. So we have a kit here and really this is taken to the next level. We can suture people with this, we can give them IV fluids with this, and I understand that most people don't have the capabilities of having something like this, but I just kind of want to show you what I do have. So we have a lot of gauzes, again, gauzes, ace bandages, uh, you know, cobands, stuff to wrap stuff up with. This would be for something that if you have a severe cut and you need to stop bleeding, pressure. Um, another thing that we see so often is hooks in hands, hooks in feet, hooks in the leg, and I really think it's important to have something to cut hooks out of the skin with. Um, a lot of times a hook will go all the way through and you're stuck there with the barb sticking out and people don't have the capability of cutting the other end of a hook off. You need to realize that if we get that hook all the way through, if I cut that barb off, I can just back it away. So um, I'll have something like this or a multi-tool, something that can cut through metal. These are made specifically to cut, cut hooks. Um, so having something like this on board is really gonna save you. Um, there's a quick technique that you can use to dislodge a fish hook in the skin. It seems uh, a little archaic, but I tell you what, I've used it multiple times and it is very effective. It kind of does take two people, depends on where the fish hook is, but if you have somebody else on board, this is something that can, can easily be done to remove a fish hook. I wouldn't recommend this if it's in a joint. If you're just in the basic part of a, uh, what I call a meaty part of the tissue, it's a great way to remove a hook. But if you're stuck in the joint on the hand, you know, it's a better idea just to head in, go to the emergency department to have that hook removed. In this situation, it, let's pretend that this is in the meaty section of the hand, it's not in the joint. I'm gonna go ahead and trim the line off. I'm gonna take an 80 pound section or a heavy section of, of, of leader material. I'm gonna make a loop out of it. And what I wanna do is I wanna get that loop of, of material. I'm gonna pick up the hook. And what I'm gonna do is the important part is hold the eye of the hook down. And at the same time, while holding pressure down on the hook, I want to pull firmly away from the point of entry, how it entered into the skin. So hook down to help cock the barb back up, and then one quick motion, I'm going to pull up and dislodge the hook. I know that seems like something that won't work, but I promise you, I've done it multiple times offshore. This is a great way to get a hook out of, of the skin. So it's really important to have at least a basic first aid kit on board the boat. Um, and I really recommend if you're going to be heading further offshore or for long trips, let's say to the islands or multiple day trips, is to have a much more um, thorough first aid kit like we have here. It's better to be safe on the boat than sorry, and you don't want to learn by accident.